This is a video tutorial on how to set up your irrigation controller for a new hydro seeded lawn. The goal is to water your lawn so it's wet or moist, not having standing water, but not overly dry. So what we do is we set it up for three times a day, generally for three to four weeks, and then two times a day during the daylight hours, and then ultimately one time a day early morning once the yard is established and you're mowing. So what you'll do is have the controller on automatic. What you'll do is go past the set date, set time, and then ultimately set watering start time. So right now it's set to come on at 6 o'clock in the morning. And then what we'll do is put in a second start time. And what we'll do is late morning or early afternoon. In this case what we'll do is 11.30. And then ultimately what we'll do is put a third start time in. And we'll do kind of mid to late afternoon. In this case, we'll do 3 p.m. And then ultimately what we'll do is put time on each zone. So right now, zone one has got 10 minutes on it. And what that is is a rotor zone. So what it's going to do is ultimately water three times a day for 10 minutes. So what you'll want to do is put enough time on each zone so that the ground stays wet, but not puddling, and then ultimately so it doesn't dry out. Now if you get times where it starts to dry out between start times, either add time to it or we can always put in a fourth start time. In this case, what I generally recommend is adding more time to the particular zone. Now as the yard starts to get established, what you'll do is start to reduce those start times. So what we'll do is go back to set station, or excuse me, set watering start times, and we'll go to that third start time, and what we'll do is go up through 12 p.m., and then it'll say third off. And then what we've done is eliminated that third start time. And then what we've got is just the two start times, an early morning and then a mid to late morning start time. And then as the yard continues to grow, you or ultimately once you mow for the first time, then what you'll do is remove that second start time. And in many cases, you'll have to start increasing the amount of run time at each zone because you have reduced the number of start times. Like I said, the goal is always to ultimately get the yard wet or moist, not having standing water, but not allowing it to dry out. As that goes on, what you, your yard will start to grow and get established, and then ultimately you'll water that one time a day, early morning, and you'll have a full lush lawn. 